All right, this is your setup for your robotic total station. Uh, after it's set up on the tripod, you want to put the battery in it. Now the bigger battery is going to go into the robot, and there's a thinner one, it's about half the size of this, that's going to go into your remote. It goes on the left side of the instrument, it's facing you, and take the door out. You want to make sure that the contacts are up and out. Clips into the door. You make sure the door, push it in, there's a spring in there, and then lock it. On the other side, we have a door, clip down door. Same thing with the lock, door comes out. This is your memory card, removable. Now we can use this memory card, we can put it into the card readers. This is an internal card reader on this computer. Put it in there, it reads just like your SD cards or like a USB. We also have external card readers that plug into USB ports. Now when you put the card in, you want to make sure that it's in the right way. If it's not in correctly, the door won't close. Lock it in. That's a setup for your robot. Next, we're going to have the remote. The, then again, the, the thinner battery. It's going to go on the back of the door here. You can see on the back of this, we also have a storage for the stylus. Clips in. The robot also has one. Unlock the door, flips up. You can see in here that there's also a space for another memory card, which this remote currently does not have. You want to take the small battery, the contacts on the right side, make sure that it goes in, sits in flat, and close the door. Make sure the door locks. Now, we have our prism pole which first thing you want to do is make sure the bracket's connected for the remote. Slides on the bottom. It also adjusts, adjust it to the height where when you put the remote on you don't have a glare or what's easier to view. When you put the remote on the bracket, there's a silver retainer clip here. It's like a spring-loaded clip. It's got to go on to, on the bottom of the bracket. There's a hook there. Put the clip on there, make sure it's on, reach underneath, and make sure that the remote goes forward and clips back so it doesn't come off. There's also a safety button here, this red button. You want to make sure that it presses up. This way it's secure. You can't take the remote off. If you were to bump it, the remote won't fall off. Next, we have our prism. It sits on the top. There's a button here at the bottom. You want to just push it and the prism will fall down, release it, make sure the prism is secured on there and doesn't fall off. Also, you can use a bipod legs with this prism, or prism pole. Basically, it helps you stabilize and level and plumb when you're shooting points. You can use it, you can not use it, depending on your application, but you want to make sure that it's secured in there. And then, once it's secured, and you have your prism pole at the correct height, measurements on here you can use, set your rod height to whatever it needs to be, set up on the point, and then use the legs to stabilize the prism, and can even stand by itself. This way you can use the remote and you don't have to worry about keeping it plumb and using the remote at the same time. And that's your setup for your robot.